Apple's latest major update to the Mac operating system is finally here. Mac OS Ventura was recently released and it has so many new features to improve your Mac. But let's be honest, most of them won't matter to your workflow. So I thought of talking about the best features that gave my workflow a productivity boost and you can use them to streamline yours as well. Before we get into that, if you are new here, my name is Amit and I would really appreciate it if you could give this video a thumbs up and in case you love this video and want to watch more like these, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with the reviews and comparisons I do here. With that out of the way, let's get back to the video. The native email application of the Mac OS has been missing some of the really good features which are pretty standard for other email clients. But that is not the case anymore. Apple has finally made some useful enhancements to the email app like improved search. Apple has made it so much easier to find the email you need at the moment like search box already displays the recent emails, attachments, links, photos etc at the moment you click on it. Then there's a follow up feature which places the email at the top of the pile and the ability to schedule when you want an email to be sent. Reminders can be set to make an email resurface so you can respond to it at a later time. And best of all, mail has an unsent feature where you will have 10 seconds to take back an email that you did not intend to send. And with all these features combined, macOS email is not just as good as Gmail or any other model email clients. In fact, it offers so much more. Spotlight search is one of the most used features for me and now it is even more powerful. You can now find images and photos, messages, notes, the finder and the web right from the spotlight. Also search the images based on the text in it. And it is supporting the quick look as well, allowing you to see a full preview of the files in the spotlight by pressing the spacebar. Mac hardware in general is of top notch quality. But when it comes to the webcam, it is bad. Just like all the other laptop webcams with its mediocre image quality and lack of features. But the iPhone on the other hand has best in class cameras. And with macOS Ventura, Apple is giving you an option to utilize the iPhone camera in your Mac. And this feature is called Continuity Camera. Once it is set up, you will instantly be able to wirelessly connect the iPhone to your Mac and use it in FaceTime, Zoom or any other video conferencing apps. With this feature, you get one more feature called Studio Light to further improve the video quality. If you have dozens of windows open at the same time and always find it too difficult to manage your screen real estate, Stage Manager is the solution. Stage Manager is Apple's attempt at the smart windows management, somewhat like Microsoft Windows. This feature is not perfect yet in my opinion, but it is still very useful. I've been loving this more and more as it helps you focus on the work by moving the current app to the middle of the screen while moving all the other open windows to the stack of thumbnail images lined up on the left. In macOS Monterey, Apple introduced live text, the ability to select and copy a text in an image. And in macOS Ventura, Apple extended the live text by adding support for the videos. You can pause the video, select the text on screen, perform the function that you want, and for someone like me, who keeps taking online classes, researching stuff, this feature is tremendously helpful. And that's everything on the short list of features that I find myself using more and more on a daily basis. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. Thanks for your time.